islands, tropical fruits, and a lot of fish and seafood. These are the gifts God has granted this country of more than 7,000 islands. And all of their creative chefs have managed to turn all of them into the tastiest delicacies you're ever going to experience. Welcome to Top 10 World. Let's look at the top 10 Filipino dishes you must try. Number 10. Bulalo Even though some of you can't stand heat on top of heat, you might change your mind once you try this local delicacy. The broth for the bulalo is made from freshly slaughtered Batangas beef that's been boiled for hours. All of the bones and spices in which the meat has been cooking make this dish irresistible. And usually, it's served with beef, corn, and cabbage. Number 9. Chicken Inasal Grilled chicken? Ugh, pass. But hold on a minute. There's something you don't really know. This dish is made by letting the chicken sit in a special marinade. It's made from lemongrass, calamansi, salt, pepper, and garlic. The entire chicken, along with the heart, liver, and gizzards, are grilled and served with a hefty portion of garlic rice, just to die for. Number 8. Eraz Caldo Manila prides itself on this thick soup. There are a lot of restaurants that serve this dish. So what's it made of? Well, we're glad you asked. Arroz calda is a salty rice porridge that's very thick and has pieces of chicken throughout. Some restaurants use green onions, toasted garlic, and hard-boiled eggs as part of the dish. Number 7. Crispy Pata Even though some might run away from it, this is an absolute delicacy in the Philippines. What chefs do is they smash that like button if you haven't done that already. But in reality, they take the pork leg and knuckle, and they boil it with some spices. Then they deep fry the tender meat until the skin is crispy and delicious. Served with the special sauce made from vinegar, soy sauce, and chili, this one is finger licking good. Number 6. Tapa If you're looking for a filling breakfast, look no further. Dried marinated beef, fried eggs, and a giant serving of rice. That's what you'll find almost all across the Philippines. The locals eat it in the morning, and many vendors sell it all the time. Number 5. Lechen There's not much to say about this one. It's an entire pig that's been split roasted on some coals until the skin is golden brown and crispy. It's a bit on the expensive side, but you're going to see it at all the parties and social gatherings. There's rarely a party that can go on without it. Number 4. Sisig Sisig is what happens when you don't want to waste a single part of the pig. The chefs make this amazing appetizer by combining onions, chili peppers, kalamzi, pig head, and liver. They fry all of these together and what you're left with is an amazing appetizer that's just begging to be taken down with a cold frothy beer. If you're not into eating it as it is, you can add some hot sauce and take it down. Number 3. Camaro If you thought this dish looks like it's been made from bugs, well, you're right. But before you turn off this video, let us tell you how this delicacy is prepared. It's made from mole crickets who've had their wings and legs removed. The only thing left is their moist body. Now, in order to make them taste good, chefs cook them in vinegar and garlic. Afterwards, they drain the bugs and fry them in oil, onion, and tomatoes until their exterior becomes crispy. It's one of the best appetizers you can find. Number 2. Balut The only reason this Filipino delicacy is not our top pick is because it's not an actual dish. It's more like a snack. And you know what it is. It's a 14-year-old egg embryo that's been boiled. If you go to the Philippines, you can find them being sold by street vendors, and it's said to improve your sex life even though it doesn't look all that appetizing. Number 1. Adobo Did you think we'd forget to mention this one here? This is one dish that no Filipino household can go without. The cook usually cooks the meat in vinegar, salt, garlic, pepper, soy sauce, and every other spice your greedy little heart desires. This way, they preserve the meat without refrigeration. If you want to experience this dish to the fullest, you should go to a Filipino family and have someone cook it for you. You definitely won't regret it. And on that note, we end this video. 
But hey, how many of these dishes have you actually tried in your life? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.